Hi guys, and welcome back to another video of The Walking Dead. I got someone here with me. The Ellie Puppos, my dog. Just gonna sit in my lap while I play. So we're on episode two, Starved for Help. And last time we found these people, uh, I think his name was Andy, one of them. And I don't remember what the other one's name was, but all I remember was Andy. Here it is, St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. No, We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Really so we can the kids around fence ever had any accidents. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Motoring, Have you got motel. someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work together. Kenny's not thinking. Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor inn will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer... Does that offer pleasure? 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 We're awful, hungry. Huh? These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Maybell. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Is it Danny and Andy? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Make sure this place safe, we should do whatever we can know of. Make sure Before this place we can think safe. about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Andy, okay. Andy and Danny. Uh, let's talk to Mark just yet. Let's see. Let's talk to him. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? 
Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Uh... Go fix the perimeter. Are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Yeah. Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, alright? Uh... That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling them up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Uh... Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Disgusting. Now we can push them off? Yeah. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Dangerous for uh, useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Well, what do you mean? We can take this place we have to. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. 
can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, <laughs> teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can like get Mr. Crispy lie. off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? I'm budding smashing right now. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Hide behind the tractor. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Don't think I can't see ya. Did you really think you could fuck with us? You got lucky that time. Get closer. I already got one of you. Hey, yeah, we'll take what we want! No. I see him! Like Behind the tractor! Come on out! Try to lure me to your asshole! No fuel! Of course! Shit! Right there. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house! Ah! Stay behind the tractor. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take one too. Nope, he's alive. What happened? What Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have he's to move. Not I already got one of you. He's alive. <laughs> Get closer! We have an agreement! Oh, there's one over here that's still alive, actually, because I'm still alive. Yep. Yeah. He's alive. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? A couple of them, but this one's not fried. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on Brenda's inside now. You. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the I, What kind of shit is this? People are we good. ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? 
food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. That was a fluke. It was a safe thought. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You like know where these assholes people. are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Yeah, are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Okay, um... If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Some of the places fishy. Walk into electric fence. <laughs> zap, zap, zap. Get pride. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Oh, very cool jump. Oh, I like this music. Uh, what do you think, what do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Before. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? No. I don't think so. Oh, Lee? Yeah? I miss my family. I know, Clint. I miss mine, too. Go safe here. How you doing? Uh, how, how you holding you up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. I don't guess. think we're safe here. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Your luck might be right. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Gasket? <laughs> Let's go talk to them. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what yeah. they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. 
Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. I feel like these guys are, you are bad. Going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon. I don't like the them. Um, we should not have I given will. them gas or anything. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Spaghettios. <laughs> the soup slurs in. They're kind of like they, they have like meatballs in them. Kind of like spaghetti. Oh shit! You found it. I have like letters in it. Now we want some spaghettios. Come on. I don't think there's anyone there. Sneak up to the camp, but there's no one there. Like you can tell. You see anybody? There's no one here. Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Small it can't be their main. Oh, they're at. That's what I was thinking. Okay, Take a look Lee. around anyway. Go, go over look there. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Go over there and look in there. Go over there and look in the tent. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. That looks like tent looks there. pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. Okay, come on, just One of them's kid sized. Fine, let's look. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. That's really creepy. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. <sighs> Nothing but fumes. Shit. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Just water. I mean, someone's been here recently. Since there's boiling water, it means they probably just left. Nothing. 
Empty. Camera. What'd you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. good. Well, what else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Let's look in the tent now, since he's not there. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you said uh, Kenny was running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh, she's got the combat training. That's Kum's hat. That's her hat. That's her hat. That's Kum's hat. Right there, it's Kum's hat. The hell? Don't fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. The men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away <laughs> into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. And they just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here until she comes back to me. One way or another. Again. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Uh, then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn uh, person I see. Down. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. For oh. Oh. I want to get information out of her. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Murder. <sighs> <laughs> it's a clean Murder. shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. She wasn't part of her, their group though. Oh yeah, I went to the dentist today and got my teeth cleaned. Come on. Body shooter. I caught a gnat twice. <laughs> okay. Well. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? I'm gonna end this episode here since it just saved.
Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.